step back to 1927 and explore The King of Kings, a cinematic masterpiece that brings to life the timeless story of Jesus Christ. This classic film, directed by Cecil B. Demel, unfolds with a simplicity that captivates audiences, avoiding unnecessary artistic embellishments. As you watch, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions as the King of Kings weaves together funny, shocking, and sad moments that resonate with viewers. The narrative raises questions about impactful scenes and favorite roles. Was there a specific moment that left an indelible mark on you? Which character stole the show for you? Now, think back to your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic gem. Did it move you to tears or leave you in awe? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Keep your eyes peeled for more interesting insights into this timeless classic. And remember, there's always more to discover in the world of the King of Kings. Stay tuned for fascinating facts and join the conversation about your experiences. In the final version of The King of Kings from 1927, the opening 20 minutes delve into New Testament details surrounding various characters before the arrival of Jesus. The narrative introduces Mary of Magdala, a courtesan, who learns that her admirer Judas Iscariot has joined the disciples with the hope that Jesus will become the nation's king. Mary sets out to meet Jesus, encountering other figures along the way, including a healed lame boy named Mark and a blind girl. The subsequent scenes depict familiar biblical episodes, such as Jesus casting out the seven deadly sins from Mary Magdalene, forming his twelve apostles, preaching the word of God, and performing miracles like raising Lazarus from the dead. The narrative also covers Jesus' betrayal by Judas, the Last Supper, the agony in the garden, and the crucifixion on Mount Calvary. The film, produced in the signature demo style with lavish sets and a cast of thousands, stands out for its portrayal of significant biblical events. Aside from the central performers, noteworthy mentions include Rudolf Schildkraut as Caiaphas, the high priest of Israel, and William Boyd as Simon of Siren, who carries the cross for Jesus. Originally released at 153 minutes, the film has been available for decades through its 1928 reissue at 112 minutes. Television revivals, including annual broadcasts on Good Friday and Easter Sunday, have brought it to a wider audience. The demo production is regarded as one of the finer biblical stories ever produced on film, offering viewers an almost scripture-like experience with its silent format and intertitles. Various releases over the years, including a DVD with a new orchestral score by David Sosson, have allowed audiences to experience restored scenes and additional content. Despite its silent nature, The King of Kings continues to resonate as a timeless portrayal of the life of Jesus, with its themes of peace, hope, and love. The King of Kings, a significant addition to the Criterion Collection under Spine 266, distinguishes itself by presenting a unique portrayal of Mary Magdalene. In contrast to the prevalent depiction of her as a prostitute, the film showcases her as a woman of power and influence deviating from the common narrative. Despite initial impressions as a party girl, it unveils a different facet of her character. Adding an intriguing historical layer to the narrative, the movie features Ayn Rand among the crowd. At a time when Rand was a struggling immigrant, Cecil B. Demel provided her with a job, contributing to her early career and eventual success. This illustrates the impactful role the film played beyond its cinematic narrative. As the story unfolds, the opening 20 minutes delve into New Testament details, introducing characters and setting the stage for the arrival of Jesus. Mary Magdalene's journey intertwines with other figures, creating a mosaic of experiences that build towards significant biblical events. The film's meticulous production, signature to Demo's style, captures these moments with lavish sets and a cast numbering in the thousands. Among the notable performances, Rudolf Schildkraut as Caiaphas, the High Priest of Israel, and William Boyd as Simon of Siren stand out. Originally released at 153 minutes and later reissued in 1928 at 112 minutes, the movie has reached wider audiences through television revivals on Good Friday and Easter Sunday. Its silent format, accompanied by intertitles, provides a scripture-like experience offering a unique perspective on the life of Jesus. Various releases over the years, including a DVD with a new orchestral score by David Sawson, have allowed with audiences to explore restored scenes and additional content. Despite its silent nature, it endures as a timeless portrayal of Jesus' life, resonating with themes of peace, hope, and love. 
In conclusion, this cinematic masterpiece not only played a pivotal role in shaping the early career of Ayn Rand, but also offers a nuanced portrayal of Mary Magdalene, adding depth to the narrative. Its enduring quality lies in the silent format, capturing the essence of biblical events. The interplay of characters and the meticulous production contribute to its status as a timeless classic. The King of Kings, directed by Cecil B. Demel in 1927, stands as a cinematic landmark that intricately weaves the narrative surrounding Jesus Christ. Notably, Joseph Schildkraut, who portrayed Judas Iscariot, later assumed the role of Nicodemus in The Greatest Story Ever Told, offering a unique connection between these two cinematic depictions. The film secured an Italian censorship visa on January 31, 1928, emphasizing its international impact. Impressively, after watching it, esteemed author John Steinbeck expressed admiration, noting saw the picture, loved the book, capturing its ability to resonate with audiences on a profound level. In its 1928 reissue, the movie's runtime was trimmed to 112 minutes from the original 153 minutes, yet it retained its essence. The portrayal of Mary Magdalene in this rendition is notably distinct, deviating from the conventional depiction of her as a mere prostitute. Ayn Rand, a struggling immigrant at the time, found employment through Demil during the film's production, playing a role in her eventual success, adding an extra layer to its historical impact. The cinematic masterpiece unfolds with lavish sets and a cast of thousands, showcasing the meticulous production signature to Demil's style. Rudolf Schildkraut's portrayal of Caiaphas, the high priest of Israel, and William Boyd's role as Simon of Siren contribute to its notable performances. Television revivals on Good Friday and Easter Sunday have brought this silent classic to a broader audience, providing viewers with a scripture-like experience. Despite its silent nature, it continues to endure as a timeless portrayal of Jesus' life, resonating with themes of peace, hope, and love. The interplay of characters and the meticulous production contribute to its status as a cinematic classic that transcends generations. Cecil B. Demel's silent masterpiece, The King of Kings, holds historical significance beyond its portrayal of Jesus Christ. Anna Delinsky made her debut in the film, marking the beginning of her acting career. Interestingly, the movie's first television broadcast on Easter Sunday in 1940 via New York City's W2XBS pioneered the transmission of silent feature films on television. Originally, Demel envisioned J.B. Warner for the role of Jesus, but due to Warner's untimely demise, H.B. Warner assumed the iconic role. It's worth noting that J.B. and H.B. Warner were not brothers, dispelling a common misconception. J.B., originally James B. Tobias, adopted the Warner surname after being raised by H.B. Warner's family. In the cinematic tapestry of this silent classic, the opening scenes intricately delve into New Testament details, introducing characters like Mary of Magdala. Contrary to conventional portrayals, the film presents Mary as a woman of influence, challenging stereotypes. Notably, Ayn Rand, a struggling immigrant at the time, found employment through demo during its production, contributing to her eventual success. The movie's meticulous production, characterized by lavish sets and thousands in the cast, highlights Demo's signature style. Rudolf Schildkraut's portrayal of Caiaphas, the high priest of Israel, and William Boyd's role as Simon of Siren stand out among notable performances. Despite its silent nature, it continues to resonate with audiences, providing a scripture-like experience of Jesus' life. In its international impact, the King of Kings secured an Italian censorship visa in 1928. Esteemed author John Steinbeck expressed admiration for its profound resonance, emphasizing its ability to captivate on a deep level. Television revivals on Good Friday and Easter Sunday have expanded its reach, ensuring its enduring legacy. The film's runtime was trimmed in its 1928 reissue, but its essence remained intact. Beyond its cinematic narrative, this silent classic serves as a cultural touchstone, offering nuanced portrayals and shaping careers. It transcends generations, echoing themes of peace, hope, and love.